Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of the Gentleman's Club. I'm your host, Mark Antomati, and I'm still continuing my whiskey reviews over the Jack Daniels line of whiskey. And if you didn't pay attention to the previous videos, I'm wearing the exact same clothes, and that is because I have been conducting these reviews consecutively, one after another. And uh, although they may not have been uploaded simultaneously one after another just know that I've just finished drinking these two the old number seven and the gentleman jack and now I'm getting ready to try the last miniature that I have inside of my collection which is the Jack Daniels single barrel select now this whiskey is a lot more intense than the other two that I had previously tried both of these each are the same ABV which is 40% or 80 US proof. This one is actually 47% alcohol and uh, I'm just estimating this out of my mind so that would be maybe about um, maybe 94 proof I believe. I could be wrong about that but that's what I believe it to be and uh, this is another 50 milliliter miniature just being inside the United States it's uh, very cheap to buy miniatures of American whiskey in America as well as it you know if it turns out that I don't like these whiskeys I don't want to be confined to owning a full bottle that I would feel obligated to have to finish even though I don't like the whiskey but surprisingly enough I really do enjoy Jack Daniels old number seven previously this used to be my favorite American whiskey maybe it still possibly is until I get something better and although the Gentleman Jack is different from the old number seven, I don't say it's any better or any worse. It's just different in its own special way. And this one is a little bit more expensive, the single barrel select. So we are going to find out if it is going to necessarily, ref if the price reflects that it is necessarily better than its uh, brothers. I have the Jack Daniels website open just for quick reference to read about this whiskey really quick. This one says our signature single barrel offering bottled at 94 proof. I was right about that. Single barrel select layers subtle notes of caramel and spice and bright fruit notes and sweet aromatics for a Tennessee whiskey with one of a kind flavor. The old number seven had a nice maple and or vanilla taste to it. The Gentleman Jack, this was, um, I'm already forgetting, this was vanilla and caramel. And now the single barrel select is uh, caramel with spice, so I don't expect any vanilla inside of this, although we may or may not find that in there. Who knows? It says it draws distinct flavors from the barrel. Uh, I'm thinking it's an oak barrel. It has a robust character and notes of caramel and spice. Those are the key words of the day, caramel and spice. So I had already rinsed out my glass and I had drank a little bit of water to clean my palate so that I don't get it uh, my assessments of this mixed up with the two that I had previously tried. We're only going to pour a single of this. I think that's about enough for just for our tasting. The color is more or less the same as the other two. It's amber not too dark, not too light. On the nose, it sure smells better than the other two. 
even though it was stated that there's no vanilla inside of here, it kind of smells like vanilla and caramel. The caramel is a lot easier to find on the nose for the single barrel than it was for the Gentleman Jack. Mmm. Being at 47%, the flavor is definitely a lot richer, a lot more intense on this one. At 47%, it's not enough to remove the taste from your taste buds on your tongue, but you definitely feel it there. Not as mellow as they like to say, as the other two, not as smooth, but still, still quite easy to go down. The aftertaste is very rich. Nice, nice caramel flavor to this one. Out of these three, I think I might just about might say that I think I like the single barrel the best of all. After a few seconds on your tongue, it gets a little bit lighter. When you swallow, you can feel it and you can taste it inside of your sinuses and then going down. Very pleasant. Wow. Still my favorite brand of American whiskey and only here there's more Jack Daniels to try, and it's only going up from here. Whether it's better or worse, that's another story, but in terms of price, it does get more expensive, and there are more options. Anyways, gentlemen, I would like to thank you for watching this review over the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Select. Make sure wherever you are that you drink responsibly. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And gentlemen, as always, keep it classy. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.